All right. I'm done building lineups. I got nothing else to do. So maybe somebody will come and hang out. Oh, look. Somebody's coming to hang out. Evening. It's morning. Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. It was an easy day to make lineups, wasn't it? It just kind of feels that way. Just plug those guys in. Ah, oh, somebody in England. Nice. What's good? I don't know. I hope my lineups are good. What about you guys? You, uh, you feeling confident about your lineups today on DraftKings? Everybody had an easy time building lineups today? The days that are easy to build lineups to me means that, uh, it's, it's, that everybody's going to be on the same players. I know you've heard me say that before, but like sometimes it's true. We've seen a few weeks where there's seven, you know, 70 to 75, 80% in double ups on the same guys. I think we're going to see a lot of that today, but that makes it a great tournament day, right? Sproles or Sea West? Come on, that's easy. It's Chark Week. I need more Kaepernick. I have enough Kaepernick. Don't have him in cash, though. I've, I've seen that movie before. I'm okay with him in tournaments. I'm more than okay with him in tournaments. Yeah, throw the hearts out there. Let me see those hearts. Hearts. Dow Jones, how's it going? B. Marsh in cash? I don't know that you need that. Antonio Brown over OBJ. Adams or Montgomery. I mean, Crab and the Lobster. Pick whichever one you want or both. I got a lot of people in here. How come I get this many people for a Periscope, but y'all don't come to the Facebook Live on Friday? You're disappointing me. Dak or Ben? I don't mess with Hurt Ben. I also don't usually mess with Road Ben. But I will have some Ben in tournaments, but he's not really a, a dude. Oh, look. DC is at the, uh, at the Vikes game today. Interesting. Very cool. You guys follow everybody on DFS Twitter? Thank you uh, for the you look good comment. I've lost 30 pounds in the last, I don't know, let's see. So week one was nine weeks ago, so about a month or a month and a half before that. So about 15 weeks, about two pounds a week. Coach GPP, sure. Boom bust play, though. Number one player this week? Like, who's going to end up number one, or who do I have at number one overall? I never trust anybody's hammy. Welcome to Periscope, uh, R. Horatio. Oh, I like Le'Veon today. Yeah, he's good. And he's going to be, like, way less owned than Ezekiel Elliott, who's going to eat all the invisible cereal. How's it going, Shaw? This is just my office, but thank you. I appreciate the compliment. This is my little itty-bitty office. Tyreek Hill's interesting today. I'm kind of, like, trying to fit as many in there as I can. I'm, I'm done tinkering with lineups, but I definitely took a few more. I don't have a big share of him, but it's going to be interesting. I mean, they only have two running backs healthy on that lineup right now. Two running backs. You know, they have West and they have, uh, who's active today? The guy they just picked up, Niall Davis. Usually teams have three or four running backs healthy. Uh, I think he's going to get run more routes than he normally runs. Runs like six routes a week. I think he's going to be targeted about the same as he was last week and probably get some run plays in as well. I, I think this is going to be his heaviest touch game of the season, which at 3,400 is solid. I like Sproles. He's going to play a lot. Yep, I like KC defense, and you pair them with him, try and get the double dip if you can, but that's, you know, that's a 1% play. Like 1% that he actually returns a kickoff or a punt for a touchdown. Like, if you realize that, you get you get both touchdowns, so that's nice. Antonio Brown or Odell, give me Antonio Brown. You leaned a lot more on Foles. Good, good luck to you, man. I don't know what God you pray to, but definitely pray to him. Or her. Or it. Might be a spaghetti monster. I don't know. Benjamin or Cooper? Punt. I don't want either. Gates or Rudolph? Yes. I have a lot of both. Austin, Brit, or Quick? Uh, depends what you're looking for out of them. I think Brit's the best tournament play. I think Austin's better for cash. Breeze or Dak? I think Dak's probably a little bit better, but I like Breeze for a tournament play. Uh, more upside for yards, like 
Breeze could throw for 350, where I don't think Dak throws for 350. Dak or Cap, I like Dak. How about Riddick? Sure. I just don't think there's that much scoring in that game. I could be wrong. That's why I usually pick the tight end. I don't need as much scoring out of a tight end. Good luck to you guys, too. I appreciate it. Ten minutes to kick off. Oh, my God. Zeke is not eating macaroni and cheese. He's too old for that. My kids eat mac and cheese. They're like six. He's out of college. You only The last time you eat, like, Kraft mac and cheese is in college. He's out of college. He's got a pro contract now. Now he gets, like, gourmet stuff. He doesn't need to mess around with Kraft mac and cheese anymore. It is the cheesiest, though. My kids like the Auntie Annie stuff. They don't like Kraft. Mac and cheese or ramen? Again, that's a college food. You don't eat ramen. Does anybody eat ramen after you graduate college? I mean, you go to college, you eat all the ramen, all the mac and cheese. After college, you don't eat that stuff anymore. I'll, I'll accept, like, chunky soup or, like, chili once the weather gets to be, like, 20 degrees outside. Until then, it's all cereal all the time. You guys love ramen? Okay, how old are you if you love ramen? There's nobody that's older than 23 that loves ramen. Not one person older than 23 loves ramen. See? 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nobody over 23 that loves ramen. You can't know. Y'all, yeah, look. Okay, wait. There's a different... No. I'm talking like ramen noodles, like the freeze-dried stuff. If you go to like a ramen place, that's a different story. Like you have the real soup, like at a, a Japanese faux restaurant or something. You know, a Thai faux restaurant or a Japanese ramen place. I'm fine with that. That's different. Yeah, I used to live by Sautel. I lived like two blocks away from there on Butler. Those little townhomes by the fire station. I don't know what coat snaps are going to be. I can't, I can't answer. I mean, I'd love to be able to answer it. I don't know what his snap count is going to be today. You put craft in your ramen. You're living the life. Duwan. I like Duwan better there. Uh, I haven't heard a reason why Michael Thomas wouldn't play. Adams or Montgomery, why not play both? I don't think Cobb's going to do much. Even if he's active, I think he's one of those active, you know. There's guys that are active and they play their normal snap counts. This is why I was on J.J. Nelson last week. Because even though Floyd was active, I was like, yeah, he's, he's not active. He's active, meaning he's not going to play. Just like Will Fuller didn't play uh, a few weeks ago when he was active. And I think that Cobb is going to be there for emergency reasons only today, if he's even active. I have no problem with Adams. Love Montgomery. And Montgomery's going to see a lot of running back snaps. Montgomery may be like the chalkiest play on the week, even like to me, even though West might have more ownership on DraftKings. Does that make sense? Like, I think that Ty Montgomery has a higher floor than West, but I think West will be higher owned for some reason. Jordy, yeah, look, all the Packers are in play. Pick a Packer. Pick a Packer wide receiver or quarterback. Pick a Packer, pick a Peppers. I didn't do my my before I go on the air stuff today. Keep the hearts going. More hearts. There's not enough hearts. Thoughts on Ajayi? I'm on their passing game. I'm not really on Ajayi. I don't like to play running backs against uh, the Jets. Ajayi is coming off two great games. He might have a good game today. I don't think he tops 100 yards, though. Is that a bold call that he doesn't get over 100 yards against the Jets? Because I kind of don't think it is. But I like Landry, and I like either one of their deep threats. I like Landry the most, and I think you can take GPP Parker or Stills. I think you can take GPP shots on either one of those guys. Somebody's going to get deep uh, or get behind that Jets defense. It's just a matter of will Tannehill connect with them. But they're going to be open. Adams or Thomas? Uh, I like Adams better. McKinnon, no. I want no part of... Uh, I don't... I like... Players on teams that play real fast and score a lot of points. And Minnesota doesn't do either of those things. So, like, I don't want multiple players on Minnesota. Like, I'll pick one guy that I think will exceed his salary. But I'm not going to have a lot of shares of them. Zeke or Bell? I have Zeke higher. But, like, Bell's in my top three or four. So, they're both great plays. Terrence West is a good tournament play. Great pivot uh, at a similar price to Charkandrick West. Playing Oluwali in your dynasty league. Good luck. Yeah, Skulls is right. Booker's fine. People are overlooking Booker because of his price. So, you know, you got him at 3700 last week. So people are, oh, I'm not going to pay 6300 What's changed? He's playing against the Raiders that are really bad. Give up a ton of points. Give up more plays than they should. They have to lean on him because they can't just throw the ball with, with Simeon. 
They want to run the ball and be controlled. He's going to get uh, attempts in the pass game. I think that Gordon's better than him at that price, but I think you're talking about somebody who's going to be 5% or less owned with 20 point, a reasonable 20 point uh, possibility. Rams or Jets D? Rams. Coleman, I don't know what type of usage he's going to get. Who knows? Des Prescott, or Des Prescott or Dak Prescott? That disappeared too fast. Sorry, I didn't see it. Because because Dak and or it was Dak Prescott and Des is fine. I I think that Dak Elliott is going to be underutilized. Like people are going to say, well, it doesn't correlate, but like they could put up thirty five points today realistically. Four minutes to lock. Actually, less. How much time do we have? Three minutes, 21 seconds to lock. Start one. Hearns, Baldwin, Coco, or... Coco is Corey Coleman, by the way, or Marvin Jones. Give me Coco, then, out of those four. Who are some good tournament play... Uh, Pitta, I think, would be my favorite tournament play uh, tight end. He'll be really low-owned and is probably going to get the same sort of volume that Rudolph... Or Gates are going to get and at 10, 10 times less ownership. You despise the pack. This is the wrong day to despise the pack. They're going to score a lot of puntos. A whole lot of puntos for the Packers. You guys finish your lineups? Y'all done? Baseballs, yeah. I got a lot of them. Autographed baseballs. Guys who used to be on my fantasy teams. That's right. It's all, well, it's not Antonio time till like 4 p.m., 1 p.m. Pacific. Antonio time. Can't wait for that. I mean, if he has like two catches for 30 yards, I'm going to be so disappointed. Like he needs to have a... Here's what I want out of Antonio Gates today. I want five catches. I want 40 to 60 yards, somewhere in there, and maybe like... I want and two red two end zone targets. That's what I'm looking for. Do more periscopes over Facebook Live. Here's the problem. Periscopes don't get me anything. Building my Facebook audience does get me stuff. So kind of need to build that Facebook audience. So that's why I do Facebook Lives over Periscope. Periscope gets me nothing. I'll try to do more periscopes. I've got some things kind of cooking. Uh, on the back burner, and if they, you know, if those things happen, I'll try and do more periscopes. I'll mix in periscopes and Facebook Lives. But look, I'll do. Here's the deal, then. Fine, I'll do more periscopes. Go to my public Facebook page, Al Smizzle Zeidenfeld, on Facebook, and give that page a like, and I'll do more periscopes. You know, is that a deal? You guys down with that? Like, if you, if, I should see a lot more likes on my Facebook page as a result of this if you guys want me to do more Periscopes. You want me to do more Periscopes? Go like my Facebook page. It's the public one, Al Smizzle Zeidenfeld. Hold more rallies, yeah. Make fantasy football great again. 56 seconds to lock. Oh my God. The reason I'm doing this Periscope before lock is so I don't tinker with anything. I like my lineups. I don't want to mess up anything. Pit over Gates in a tournament? Yeah, you can do that. No, I don't play UFC. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Good luck today. Really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate all the hearts. Appreciate the viewership. Good luck in your tournaments and everything today. Bye.